Hey everyone, it is time for another My Top 10 video and this week it's all about the female stars of Disney Channel. Originally it was going to be My Top 10 Disney Channel stars but it turned out that they were all females. Yes. And I did not realize that until I put the list together and I was like, oh, okay. So I decided to keep it that way and then do another video for the male actors from Disney Channel. And I combined this time both the movies and the shows because I realized there weren't enough of either. So this is going to be, and plus a lot of the stars crossovered and did movies and shows. So it kind of made it easier just to put them all in one list. So before we get started, if you want to continue seeing more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. So are you guys ready to figure out, find out who my top 10 favorite female Disney Channel stars are? Alright, let's get it started. Girl Meets World has so had many different great characters and great actors and actresses. But to me, without Rowan Blanchard, the show would have been nothing. Um, a lot of people weren't exactly happy with her character at the beginning um, because she was very goofy and, and everything. But I, but I, li I loved um, Riley. Just like Sean Hunter said, she is Corey Matthews' face with Topanga's hair. And Rowan Blanchard was definitely the perfect person to portray Riley. And I couldn't picture anyone else doing the funny parts, the emotional parts, and just being there for Sabrina Carpenter's character, who I loved as well. Um, without them, there would be no Girl Meets World obviously but Rowan definitely played the part and I wish we could see some more of her as Riley maybe one day maybe but yes Rowan is definitely one of my favorites because of Girl Me's World. Now Kirsten Storms better known as Xenon and uh, she was in the Xenon movies as the main character, Xenon. And I, again, it's just the casting on Disney Channel is really great. And I couldn't picture another person playing Xenon. And she, not only was she Xenon, but she was also Bonnie on Kim Possible. You know, Kim's like nemesis in school because she wanted to be captain captain of the cheerleading squad but Kim was um, but yeah and Bonnie wanted the football captain you know she just didn't get it so again perfect casting Kirsten as Xenon and Bonnie the, the movies and the show have been completely different and I love Xenon as if you watch my DCOM's top 10 you know Xenon with definitely one of my top 10 picks and it's really because of her. Without her there would have been no, I mean we wouldn't know but honestly it was the best casting for the movie. Kirsten Storms. Kimberly J. Brown as Marnie in Halloween Town was by far one of the best casting jobs on Disney Channel. Still can't forgive them for not casting her for the fourth movie. Don't understand why she wanted to do it. She wanted to do it, but Disney decided to go a different way, which is kind of a little weird because she was in the first three. But anyways, um, she was definitely Marnie. Like, it was... She could pick up the 
the role like that. And and what I love about her is that she appreciates the Halloween Town story and the fans because every year she on Halloween or around Halloween, she will go to Oregon where Halloween Town was filmed and will visit the Halloween Town that they set up every year. And not only was she in Halloween Town, but she was also in Quince, which was a movie about being an older sister to five new babies, which was definitely a great movie. And it shows the side of the older sibling being overshadowed now by the new babies, which I think was perfect. And uh, Kimberly Jane Brown is definitely one of my favorite actresses on Disney Channel. Not Halloween without Halloween Town and Kimberly J. Brown. Does that rhyme? <laughs>
Hannah Montana would not have been the same without Miley Cyrus. And, and the songs would have been completely different. So, Miley is Hannah. Once, forever. Forever and always, Miley is Hannah. No one else could be Hannah Montana but Miley Cyrus. Vanessa Hudgens, as you all want know, at by this point, High School Musical is my favorite, 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 favorite decom of all times, and Vanessa Hudgens is my favorite, my favorite actors from the from those movies. I love Gabriella Montez. She does the role perfectly. She does the emotions perfectly. She sings the songs like no one else could possibly sing them and I just feel like it was meant to be for her to be Gabrielle Montez. No one could be Gabrielle than Vanessa. And I also and she was also guest appeared on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody as a goofy person and I thought and I and I actually really did love her character because she was so goofy and she was a huge London Tempted fan. And it just showed that she could sing, she can act, she can dance, she can do it all. So, Vanessa, I love you. I want to meet you one day. You know, I want to meet everyone on this list one day. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? Now, actually, Tisdale, I put higher than Vanessa because um, I've been a fan of Ashley longer because of. We got for Zach and Cody, and I honestly, Maddie Fitzpatrick, I think, is my favorite character from Sweet Life. I mean, I know it should be Zach and Cody, um, Dylan and Cole Sprouse, but Maddie was just perfect. Like, she, I love Sweet Life because they did the stereotype differently. Like, the blonde was smart and the Asian was dumb. I, I mean, it was, it was there's like. A, a meme out there that sh that talks about that, and I love that Maddie. No matter what London did, she still was her friend. You know what I mean? Like she still stood by London when all of her other friends um, gave up on her, and she was truly London's real true friend. And because of Ashley Tisdale, Maddie was that type of person. And I just love her. I love Ashley. She, Sharpay would not be Sharpay without Ashley Tisdale. I mean, she played that role like it was nothing. Like, she played that mean girl like, I mean, like no one else can. So, Ashley's definitely my top three because Sweet Life, Sharpay and High School Musical, and she's just overall cool and funny, and uh, yeah. Christy Carlos Romano is definitely hands down one of my favorites on Disney Channel, and she was literally, literally one of the two that did everything on the ch on the channel. Like she did movies. She sang, she did shows, and it was it was like she she did two shows and a movie. I feel like she did another one I can't think of. So she was Kim Possible. She was in Even Stevens as the older sister, as the older perfect sister, and she taught us all when we went to the moon in 1969, not 1968, but a year after, you know. Um, and then she was also in Cadet Kelly. She was, uh, I guess, I don't know what they call them in military school, but she was like, I say she was like, not the teacher, but like the teacher's assistant. And she was very hard on Hilary Duff's character. And I just love, 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 love Christy Carlos Romano. Um, she was definitely a Disney Channel OG. And if you guys were fans of Kim Possible, Cadet Kelly, or even Stevens, or pretty much anything Christy Carlos Romano did, make sure you check out her YouTube page. Because she now 
is doing like a throwback kitchen thing on Thursdays and she's bringing like her old castmates on and her first episode was with Will Fredo, Fredo um, from Boy Meets World but he was also Ron Stoppable and Kim Possible and it was amazing so make sure you check her out on YouTube um, but yeah without her Kim would not be Kim Possible without her Ren would not be Ren Stevens and then I can't think of, I can't think of her name and could I Kelly but her chemistry with Hilary Duff was perfect for that movie so Christy yes I love you. You're definitely one of my all-time favorite Disney Channel stars. Hillary Duff, obviously, is number one. I mean, how can she not be? She is the reason, to me, she's the reason why all the actors and actresses after her started singing, dancing, and acting all at the same time. Um, so I think she is singularly handily responsible for Hannah Montana <laughs> being possible um, because she showed that you can sing and act on the Disney Channel. And of course she was Lizzie McGuire. Um, Lizzie McGuire is definitely hands down the best Disney Channel show that Disney Channel ever came up with because it was relatable and they basically took Hillary into Lizzie and combined them and gave us the show Lizzie McGuire because it was perfect. You know what I mean? Without Hillary Duff, Disney Channel would not be the Disney Channel it is today. And of course, she was connected. She was Kelly and Cadet Kelly, and it was just, uh, she's such a, she plays relatable characters on Disney Channel, and honestly, again, without Hillary and the success of her career, and the fact that she never went sideways or anything, just shows that Hillary will forever be the OG of Disney Channel. The all time great of Disney Channel. So, yeah. Hilary Duff, number one, forever and always. Always! There will never be anyone that tops her on this list for me. The rest of them could change orders or leave the list, but Hilary will forever be number one. So there we have it. That is my top 10 um, favorite female actresses on Disney Channel. What did you guys think? Did you like the list? Do you agree with the list? If not, or if you do, comment below what you liked or who you liked. And if you have any other picks and if your list is different, definitely comment below because I really want to open up and hear all your thoughts about Disney Channel and their stars that changed all our lives over the years of growing up and each one had a different impact on us. So thank you. Next week I'm going to be doing the male actors on Disney Channel. So make sure you check that out and make sure again you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you remember and get the notification for that video next week. Alright, have a great weekend. Make sure you put Disney Channel on. And uh, here we go. Have a great weekend.